Hey everyone, Invader1 here, and yes guys, I'm bringing you a Platinum video on the Asari Adept, guys. I really like this chick a lot. I've been meaning to do a video with her for quite some time, and um, there are different ways that I like to use her. Uh, she's definitely Platinum worthy, I want to talk about that here, and uh, this is a very fun gameplay, guys. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Made a few mistakes, but whatever, right? <laughs> it happens, it's Platinum, right? So let's go into the build. All right. In regards to her, there's different ways that I like to set her up. Sometimes, um, well, let, let, let me go into stasis first and go into the individual builds so that I can tell you a little bit more later. Stasis strength. This is kind of obvious. You're gonna want to go rank four stasis strength. Rank five. You're gonna want to go bonus power. So like that, you can use stasis and then detonate it with like warp or throw, and that really, really makes it uh, so good because. Uh, what 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 happens with using rank five this way? Sometimes you won't get a cooldown, and then you can use another power immediately, which is kind of obvious, right? Rank six, you're always gonna want to go with the bubble. I mean, I like the I like I like the other capability in rank six, but you know, honestly, if you're gonna use her as a sniper, you're gonna want the bubble because then you could capture multiple enemies and then snipe one, snipe the second, snipe the third. Now for warp and throw, guys, uh, this is normally uh, this is the way I like to use her. I actually like to use her with the warp throw combos and very light weapons like an SMG or something like that. Um, but uh, you know, if you, regardless of that, guys, you're gonna want to still work her warp this way. On uh, rank four for the biotic explosions, rank five you're gonna want last, uh, uh, not lasting damage, even though it's good, but you're gonna want exposed because look how great it is. Increases weapon damage by 15%, guys, and also power damage, guys. So, in other words, the target that is prime is going to take more power damage and more weapon damage immediately. That was good. That works good if you're going to use her like a weapons class. Okay, and uh, rank six, you're going to want Pierce, guys. It doesn't matter. The recharge speed is good if you're going to just use her as a warp throw combo, and that's just how you're going to use her. But if you're going to use her as a weapons class uh, with a heavier weapons, you're going to want Pierce, guys. Because like this, any every enemy is going to take way more weapon damage. Um, and, you know, especially to the uh, especially uh, armor targets, it's going to be primed and this debuffs them. Uh, for throw, guys, I really like this power. The only thing is that for radius on rank 4, it always seems very buggy to me. I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe it does work, maybe it doesn't. I just, I never seem to see multiple enemies get hit by it. So I always go with uh, force on rank 4 to make it just much more powerful. And um, in rank five, I like detonate. You always want to go with detonate because like that, your biotic, your biotic combo between warp and throw will be so powerful. And you see that in this gameplay. You'll see how I get a lot of kills with biotic explosions, even with a heavy weapon. Rank six, uh, force and damage is the way to go, guys. You don't need recharge speed. This power is already really fast. Like it's just you could you could spam throw pretty much. Um, but you don't need the recharge speed. Now, there's different ways of setting up her training and fitness. Nice. If, guys, if you want to make her tankier, you could go on rank 6, all fitness and no training, okay? that does Your your biotic combos will still be powerful because your individual warp and throw are fully maxed out, okay? So, this this let me give you an example. If you spec out of training, what you're doing is... You are, uh, uh, you're taking away your weapon damage. That's number one, and your power, your your additional power damage on your individual powers, not on your biotic explosions. Okay, your biotic explosions will still be just as powerful. Your warp and throw will still detonate. Will still be powerful. All right, guys. Now, for uh, if you spec her out this way, you could take out out the training and just put fitness. Like that, she'll be a little bit more tankier. In all honesty, I prefer to have all of it. And uh, and that's the way I like to roll with her. And uh, depending on whether I'm using her warp throw combo or just with the uh, with a weapons class and just use warp and whatever. Now for the equipment, I'm using uh, cryo rounds. I'm also using the uh, assault rifle red amp one. And as you guys saw, the adaptive war ramp for more uh, biotic damage. And um, and my power recharge speed module for so that I could. Uh, you know, whatever, because I have a heavy weapon, my cooldown is not not the greatest. But uh, I'm using the Falcon on her, guys, just to sh kind of show something a little different. I normally like to use a warp throw, warp throw, warp throw, you know, and just have a light weapon. But you can use this this girl. I mean, a lot of people have used her in the past, kind of like a sniper, you know, the stasis sniper. I'm not using her this way like that. I am just I'm using the Falcon to stagger enemies, and then at the same time, kind of. Uh, what I want to do is just have the effect of the ammo applied to multiple enemies. That's what I'm using the. Uh, that's why I'm using the Falcon, and I'm using cryo rounds to kind of 
you know, weaken armor targets and slow enemies down, stagger stagger boss, uh, stagger enemies, um, and it's just really, really a great, great gun. Um, overall, my buddy Biggs just loves that gun. That's like his his favorite weapon. But anyways, guys, going back to her, as you noticed, um, I'm still my biotic explosions are still very, very, very powerful, guys. And you know, this is nothing new to you guys. I mean, a lot of guys, you know, if you're playing platinum with her, if you're doing quite a few things with her, I mean, you know, she's just absolutely powerful and really, really awesome. So, but anyways, um, the way I like to play with her is to be able to use her with her warp and throw combos, and I use stasis uh, pretty much only on mobs and only on uh, characters like the phantoms. Like that, I have the phantoms on stasis, and I can just just do massive damage uh, on the phantoms. Now, the other the the other time I do like to use um, the uh, the stasis power guys are on guardians. Okay, the guardians, the guys with the shields, the guys with the shields. If you use stasis on them, okay. Let's say you, you know, like right now, I have the falcon. I don't have any armor piercing capabilities right now, so I can't really shoot through the guy's shield. So, but if you use stasis, okay, you use stasis. What what will happen is the character gets frozen and he drops his he drops shield. So the moment you use stasis on that character, he drops his shield, and you can just absolutely destroy him and just you know take him out of business. You know, besides that shield is kind of corny, anyways. I don't know what the guy's thinking. You know, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go into a war with a big shield that's gonna totally save me. Actually, you know what? Uh, shields actually work. What am I talking about? Anyways, uh, but yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's get back into this. So yeah, guys. Uh, in regards to stasis, you want to use it on you know the obvious, like like right there. You know, you want to use it on phantoms. And uh, you definitely want to use your combos here. I didn't get an explosion there, but that's okay. There you go. I detonated her. Uh, took her out. Of, took her out of commission. Took her out of business. Um, but yeah, guys, you you will notice also. And you know that that's that's pretty much the way I uh, I work stasis out with her. Now everything else I am gonna prime with warp right away because especially the the, the bigger bosses like atlases, um, primes, brutes. I mean you you definitely want your biotic explosions. That's the reason to use her because she's got great biotics and her biotic and warp combo is very very good. I mean there, there are times that in all honesty I'll go through games when I'm just using her warp and throw combo that I'm not even using warp. Except when I am priming the bigger targets, I'm actually just going through the entire gameplay using throw. That's why I set up throw the way I do, because setting it up that way, it is so powerful. You could actually go through the entire game with an acolyte, acolyte throw, 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 acolyte throw, 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 acolyte throw, 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 and you're just truly destroying the enemies. And you know when you see even the phantoms, you acolyte, you know, strip her down with you know take her barriers down and then just throw, and um. It works out. It works out. It does a lot, a lot of damage to her. But anyways, uh, she's really good, guys, like that. And that's one other way that I like to use her when I'm not using a heavier weapon on her. Now, I, I've never used her as a sniper, guys. I really don't. I, it's not my... Uh, sniping is my playstyle on other games. But on this game, I do snipe quite a bit here and there, but not not a lot. It's, it's uh, you know, I'm, I've been thinking of showing some sniping gameplay. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if uh, that comes down to it. Um, I do like showing, uh, you know, some some, you know, character. I like to showcase characters that are a little out of the norm. And and this would be out of the norm if you're using her like a stasis sniper, um, meaning out of the norm for m some people, not everyone. Because actually, when I started the game, I used to see this a lot, and it was uh, really interesting to see actually because. You know, most of the time you'll think, well, you're going to use the warp throw combo, or it's going to work out nice, it's going to be a lot of fun, and it is, it is, it is. You prime target, oh, this got crazy here. Look at this. Oh, it got crazy. I had to leave there. Look at these guys. But anyways, um, yeah, but at the same time, I, you know, if you do want to use her like a sniper, a stasis sniper, then... You know, you could actually, uh, you could actually work her that way. And I remember seeing those builds when I first uh, started playing Mass Effect in certain lobbies, and uh, it was interesting to see. I, I, I rarely ever use that build myself because I just, I, it was a little, a little slow for me. I like doing a, like biotic explosions, and I like, you know, just trying to just destroy the enemy as as fast as possible. Um, that is why, you know, even this build right now. Um, is actually really, really good because at the same time I'm using a weapon uh, that gives me some kind of damage. Oh, what's going on with that little bolus? 
I don't know what happened there. But anyways, um, it, it does give me some. It does give me a lot of damage, and at the same time, you know, I am getting biotic explosions here. I am. I'm. I'm also debuffing enemies with cryo. I'm slowing them down. I'm just. You know, and, I, and I'm and I'm also staggering enemies, guys. The the Falcon is a great stagger weapon. Now, off host, this weapon it can be a little off, but um, due to a lot of the changes that have happened in the game, uh, the the Falcon is actually still really really good. Um, when you're when you are the host, it works the best. But when you are off host, it still does its job, guys. I mean, my buddy here, at Biggs, he uses the Falcon. I think uh, he uses it all the time. I I can't even be begin to tell you how many times he uses it. <laughs> he loves that gun. Um, so, uh, you know, he just really, really enjoys it, and uh, he's just, you know, he's doing very well. Like, if you think that it's not going to allow you to score, if, if that's what you're about, if you're like, oh, well, I want to be on top of the scoreboard, man. I want to build that's going to, you know, uh, make me kick ass and take names and, you know, punch babies. Um, if that's, that, that's what you're about, that's totally fine, guys. You know, that's okay. Um... This build, uh, uh, using this weapon, it's 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 still gonna it's still gonna give you um, some good you know some good points. It's gonna you're gonna you are gonna be able to destroy enemies and just demolish them. So don't worry about that. You are gonna get good points. You are gonna get good kills. Well, what happened there? They kind of just came out of nowhere. But anyways, um, so yeah, you know, and and one good thing that I like about her is that she is she is just it, like this. She is actually very good overall because her stasis power can just really do i mean just really mess up enemies look at her she just uh, that nemesis was just hanging out there she just didn't know what to do she was frozen i don't know if she was frozen by my uh my asari's uh, good looks i don't know i don't know what it will happen there but whatever anyways um so you know she's very good overall she's a very well-rounded character see there you go i mean oh i got dropped oh god Okay. Anyways, so the point was that what I was gonna say is that uh, that was a little bit of a fail. <laughs> but uh, what I was gonna say, guys, is that right there she did a great, she, you know, she would have done a greater job. I would have taken a little bit of cover um, of staggering all those enemies with stasis, uh, capturing all those enemies with stasis, and just staggering everyone or destroying everyone with the Falcon, and at the same time using after, right after right after her biotic explosions would just destroy the enemies. Now look how I stagger all these guys. Look at that. It's just it's just so good with the Falcon and then the combos. It just works really really well. You start using warp. Now, sometimes with the uh, with the Falcon, you will have some issues, guys. Um, what's going on here? What's going on here? Look at the Banshee becoming invisible. She's such a cheater, guys. Uh, if, can you guys report her to Bioware? She's she's cheating, guys. She's cheating. She's not supposed to be doing that. She's turning invisible. Then she's not invisible. I don't know what's going on with this. But anyways, guys, with, with the Falcon, you're going to want to like aim right at the bottom of the feet of the enemy. Sometimes I, I aim right at them if I am aiming high. There's different ways to aim it, right? If you got an enemy that's a little taller, like a brute or whatever, you should, you know, you could aim right at it uh, just to make sure that it curves right into them, right into the brute. Um, with other enemies, you're going to want to shoot like right at their feet to stagger them. Um, and... and uh, bosses like uh like banshees you're gonna want to kind of shoot right at their gut now, that's kind of like the way you're gonna want to shoot at them sometimes it, it does a little buggy you notice there here and there that i did i would shoot at her but it, i wasn't sure like it didn't seem like it was hitting and maybe because she was warping at the time so that's you know that's definitely one of those uh situations that um that that it was just a I don't know. It was I don't even know what was going on. Um, but anyways, guys, another use of stasis, guys. Um, if you see like a ravager, um, you can actually. I, I would prefer to use the warp and throw combo on a ravager right away because you you know you're doing damage and you know you're shooting at it and you're destroying it as, as quickly as possible. But you know the swarmers are absolutely hideous. They're hideous. They're evil. You know, they, they, they can actually destroy you in a game, believe it or not. They can really, really destroy you. you I mean, you have no idea. Well, you do have an idea, guys. Um, but if you if you see, like, a Ravager, you could actually do stays. Oh, there it goes, guys. Did you see the Guardian when I'm selling it? He dropped a shield. Anyways, I just wanted to show, uh, wanted to show you that. That was really cool. Um, so, yeah, in regards to Ravagers, if you put stasis around them, stasis destroys. Um, it actually destroys... Uh, uh, the little swarmers. So if you pop stasis right next to, uh, uh, right on a ravager, if it, 
bust this sack, okay, and drops all those little swarmers, you can do just a stasis bull on them, and it'll kill all the little swarmers. Just a little tip. Nothing new. You know, I like giving you guys, like, obvious advice, you know, but <laughs> you'd be surprised, guys. There's a lot of people who just, you know, for, for you pro players out there, this is nothing new for you guys. You guys are like, well, Vader, oh, this is nothing new. I already know this, man. I've been rocking her, like, since 1999. Matter of fact, uh, you're using her all wrong. Um, you need to use her with, like, super-duper biotic explosions. There's this new gear bonus that came out, and, uh, you know, you're kind of a noob, Vader. But anyways, guys... You know, nothing new to you pros, but, uh, you know, to the people out there, okay, look, look at this guy, this was a fail, look at that, <laughs> that, that list shoppy behind cover, that was amazing, I mean, I guess maybe he had an angle, well, one of the problems that I have with the Alice's guys, um, oh god, a few problems that I have with the Alice's, where, where, where do I start, okay, First of all, the damage over time, absolutely ridiculous. I, I mean, I don't know, whoever at Bioware decided to put that in, they just, they, they need to, like, not be able to sleep for, like, weeks. Because that's just absolutely ridiculous, guys. Guys, this is the first time I, I whip out the Acolyte, and really, the only, the only reason I'm using it is just to, I don't know, at that moment, just to make it go, um, go f faster uh, on the, disabling the enemy shields. And, um, but in reality, you could just do a lot of biotic explosions on, like, bigger targets, bigger enemies, and all that. And here, guys, I don't know what was going on here, guys. I was like, hey, guys, does anybody have a missile? Like, hello? But, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, so whatever. Anyways, guys, so, so, so far, overall, this chick is very versatile. Alright, she's very versatile. Alright, she can do a lot of things. She can do biotic explosions. She can stasis enemies. She can trap them. And she could be a weapons class or just a pure biotics class. I mean, yeah, I mean, you got to carry a weapon regardless. But I'm saying if you want to put, like, a heavier weapon. Guys, I've seen I've seen it, her. I've seen people use her with a widow, a black widow, the saber. I've actually used her with the saber once a long time ago. So the saber would actually work on her. Look at those biotic explosions. Ah, oh, love it. I love it. I love it. She's so good. Um, but you know, you can you can use, you know, heavier weapons. I mean, I've seen people use the claymore on her. I know somebody who I know will probably use the claymore cuz he loves the claymore. You see it in a lot of a lot of his videos. Um, you know who you are. You know who you are. But anyways, um yeah, you could use heavier weapons on her but with the stasis capability. You can make her into somewhat of a sniper, you know? And guys, you will see you will see here in some situ situations that I am actually getting some good kills. Um, you know, it, the Falcon is a little slower, guys, and takes a little getting used to, but it's still a really, really good gun for staggering. I mean, so in other words, with this build, with using this weapon, she's got all these capabilities. She got stagger capabilities with the Falcon. Now, look at these guys. You know, not only am I, 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 not only did I stagger this guy with the Falcon, but I was able to do a biotic explosion and clean clean up house with him. And uh, the Falcon allows me to stagger enemies like, you know, there you go. Enemies like the Pyros. Ooh, I completed the waves. Look at that, guys. Oh, Spectre Mastery. Uh, watch out, guys. I am going to be a Spectre soon. I'm going to be a Master. All right, guys. Um, and uh, if you see here, you know, a few tips. Like, oh, look at that. Look at that kill streak. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, and you know I'm kind of proud there. I'm gonna be honest with you because I've been having nothing but extreme missile fails all week, and uh, I don't know. Oh, look at this. Ah, I just got killed. But anyways, um, I've have been having some missile fails uh, throughout the week, and um, by the way, there will be another video that I created where uh, I would not be the only one narrating, guys, because I've been promising you guys, you know different types of narration and uh, I will be bringing that to you guys very very soon I'm just waiting for everybody else to uh, to ready up on that um, so yeah uh, going back to what I was saying I think if I remember what I was saying I, I I'm just thinking you know, guys it is kind of late here for me but I wanted to get this video done guys number one look at this video quality man I am just loving it right now I, I hope it really translates to YouTube the way I'm seeing it but anyways the other thing is that this this character she's just so good I mean she's so good guys and, and man, that little bolus is just freaking me out um but anyways she is she is so really really good and I really really enjoy oh look at this that's a missile right there that's a missile come on missile it there you go 
Alright, there you go. I, I, see, I like playing with people on Platinum who actually use missiles. Guys, you know, I've had a few games where it's like, man, the game is just so much harder than it's supposed to. And I'm like, why is this so hard? And, I, and, and it ends up that I'm like the only guy like using missiles on, you know, the appropriate waves. And I'm like, why is nobody using missiles? This is Platinum. That's like, and you know, you don't want to use missiles on like just one guy or anything, like one Atlas or anything. You want to use it intelligently, you know? You, you want to go ahead and, um,. And use the missiles like on spawn points. That's pretty much what you want to do. You want to do some spawn control, spawn killing, and all that. Um, but anyways, uh, that is that is what is up with that. All right. And uh, regards to her, she is uh, very versatile. So I'm going to repeat myself for the third time and tell you guys that she's very versatile and she's very very good. <laughs> all right. And um, guys, and and uh, I gotta I gotta be honest with you guys about something in this video. I made a lot of mistakes here, uh, but I still decided to post it anyways. Uh, we're having fun. I mean, this is a glacier hazard map. This is platinum, whatever. We'll, you know, with a character like this, she's not super tanky. She will get hurt. She will, you know, the, 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 things will happen. But you know, she can still handle it. You know, she can still, she can still kick ass. I mean, just look at her. She's, I mean, this this is my kind of woman. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's very she's she's strong she's focused she's very powerful and uh um what can i say man she's carrying a big gun i mean hey uh, it's, this is the way to go so um you know i i made quite a few mistakes look at this i just kept on dropping this is this is horrible guys this is just so bad in this way i i started making stupid mistakes don't do what i did make sure you take some cover guys you know, so I, you know, I have a noob guide where I'm telling everybody, hey guys, take cover, make sure you take cover. And you guys have seen some of my solos, where especially the human engineer solo, where I take a lot of cover with that guy because he's got like absolutely no, like very little health and shields, and because of that. I use a lot of cover with him, use his combat drone and all. So characters that have very, very low uh, health and shields, you want to take a lot of cover with them when, um, when you're fighting enemies. So any, any chance you can, you can get. So now that that was I don't know. I was a noob round. I a noob wave. I I just kind of I don't know. I died a lot. I wasn't supposed to die that much. Uh, and that was a new moment too. I, I I popped stasis when I really meant to do warp on that banshee and uh, don't know what happened there, but. Uh, I use the incorrect power, so don't do that either. Use your warp and throw combos on uh, bigger boss targets, okay, guys? Uh, you can use them on smaller targets. <laughs> look at this, look at this. I'm just dropping like a, like a noob. What is going on here? Oh, God. This is, this is, I don't know what happened in this game, guys. I still wanted to share it to you guys because it was a lot of fun. We still, you know, we still did our thing, and, you know, we, we, um, we still have fun with it and I uh, got a whole bunch of biotic explosions. Now, I would get a lot more biotic explosions with her, okay guys, if I didn't have the Falcon Armor. If I didn't have a heavier weapon, I would actually get a lot more. And you will start seeing, you'll see, you'll see especially towards the end, I get a lot of biotic, and look at it here, biotic explosion, biotic explosion. So, um, if, if I didn't have a heavy weapon on her, I would be able to actually get um, more biotic explosions if I'm just using the warp throw combo. But because I'm not, I am still getting a lot of biotic explosion, but just not as much. Oh my god, Banshee Warp. Am I going down? Uh, come on, don't go down again. Look at this, guys. Oh my god, this is horrible. This, this is horrible. Horrible! Anyways, um, but whatever. Please forgive me, guys. I, I, you know, I, 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 oh god, look at this getting dropped. Well, okay, well, first of all, it is Platinum. Second of all, it is the Hazard Glacier, whatever. It's just, you know, the hazard is really just that it's dark. I mean, there's that ball running and flying around, but it's not really that bad because you can just run right through it. It's all right, but I don't know, guys. It, you know, sorry about this this newbie gameplay. But somehow, I still, guys, I, I end up really just doing all, a lot of destruction here, guys. I mean, I'm just doing biotic explosions. I'm capturing enemies with stasis. I'm staggering the crap out of everything with uh, with my falcon. So, yeah, wh wait a second. How did Biggs get that kill on the Atlas when I did a biotic explosion? I'm like, what? Man, that Biggs guy. I, guys, I gotta get Biggs back. Alright, you guys know that him and uh, Golem trolled me that one game. They just captured me in the hazard reactor three times. Um, that was kind of... I don't know. I don't know. I gotta get these guys. I'm gonna have to do really, really mess them up because they just they deserve it. Especially that Biggs guy. I'm gonna have to get him back. 
really, really gonna have to get him back. But um, anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. She, uh, she's just a really, really good character. If you notice here, well, you notice that I died. That's one. I, you know, and, and by the way, just because I am getting down here quite a bit, guys, doesn't mean that you will. It's just, I don't know. This is just one of those games. Um, but uh, you know, I had a lot of fun with her, and uh, you know, just to show you, yeah, she's a, she's a little weak here. But look, at, uh, she, she's a little. She's meaning that she, she doesn't have a lot of high health and shields. But if you notice, she's offensively powerful, guys. Right here, I am getting a ton of biotic explosions. I'm setting them up with with uh with warp and and then to throw. I mean, just this is ridiculous. Everyone and I'm staggering enemies. I am using cryo with the falcon, so I am also blasting cryo over there, slowing the enemies down, debuffing them in so many ways. So I got a debuff on the cryo, um, and I also got a debuff on the warp. So, you know, her her combos are absolutely amazing she's just a really really versatile character and she can definitely handle platinum as you can see guys you know don't i died quite a bit but i don't know that was wave eight and the wave nine i just i, I don't know what happened there guys I, I played a little reckless and that'll happen you know i'm so used to having just so much fun with this game that i'm not playing um you know, I'm not playing MLG style like every single time because you know we're just like just having fun and and um, and we're just you know running around just doing every you know doing what we can so um, you know sorry about that but whatever it is what it is guys she's really really good she can kick ass take names punching babies in the face and uh, hope you guys enjoy that please comment rate and subscribe and uh, invader one out.